all right, we're here at the park home. Just wanted to walk through real quick what we're looking at. So um, we'd be looking at all the trim. So you'll have three separate quotes. The house quote, which is what I'll do a video on. You'll see us walk around the house. Then you'll have a deck quote, and then you'll have also a back separate uh, garage and shed quote. So kind of go through the different parts. Uh, we'll start with the house itself. You've got wood windows, and you've got the upper trim to be done. I didn't include any doors or any shutters. Um, if you did want those included moving forward, you could let us know. Um, but what I see on the house are areas like this where you've got separation at joints that need to be recalked. So all these joints need to be resealed. Um, stuff needs to be recalked around the windows. You've got some peeling um, on the sashes here. Um, not so much on this window, but if we take a look over here, you've got some chipping. You know, it looks like this has been scraped before, so this may be an area of concern from previous. And you can see the, the paint starting to crack. Um, so again, you're probably a year away from needing it done. Um, but just wanted to point that out, that there is some issue around the windows, which is to be expected. On this side, nothing much. You've just got that over there. And then look at a couple other windows here. On the front, got a little bit more peeling. So you can see that down there at the base. Got some windows that are peeling. We need resealed along this area right there. Same thing with this window. And I'm sure they get a lot more of the wear and tear. And then you've got this area here, just the uh, soffit and gutter board. And you've also got peeling along this door jam right there need to re needs to be recalked along the the brick line so um, again you probably got another year or so but just want to highlight door frame garage door frame there and then the, the back of the house is just more windows and upper trim so upper trim up there and then you've got about six or seven more or five or six more windows there that need to be redone this would be the deck this is a separate price uh, that you'll have so it'd be redoing the deck the floor the rails the steps um, as you can see there's some issue with paint adhering so we talked about using the peel bomb primer on all the horizontal surfaces here here all the rails and then obviously the floor itself uh, it is a semi-transparent stain you can see it on the rails there um, and on this column here, that's the color that it would be. So uh, we should cover pretty, pretty easily, pretty well. And then you've obviously got your corners, which are more of a solid uh, stain. So obviously the deck needs quite a wash, get everything cleaned up and see the algae growth on the handrails there. And then in various locations on the steps and stuff like that. So just need to make sure we get that washed really well. And then the main item would be this uh, back garage and then there's a shed behind it so um, you can see the front it's t111 and all the way around it's t111 siding so gonna need to be maintained pretty well over the years do it every six or seven years I would recommend um, but you will see on this little drip edge wooden drip edge piece right here it's wearing worse than the rest of the garage and that's to be expected and you can see it pretty substantially there. So that's just something that you'll have to keep an eye on. Just make sure that you just maintain areas like this. It's not soft. just needs to be scraped and primed before we paint. So you got that there. Walk on around here. Again, you can see how it's faded out. It needs a little bit of recaulking and everything. But it's just the siding. All of this up here is maintenance free. Soffit. So it would just be the siding on this portion of the quote. And then you've got the back of the shed here and same same material same everything so um, same process for that and then walk around to the back side of the garage and then you'll get to see the front of the shed there so we wouldn't be doing the doors just the framework on the garage and same as the other side the homeowner was concerned about caulking above this AC unit so we want to make sure we do our due diligence there and put caulking as it needs to be done on top of that AC unit there 
just make sure moisture can't get back behind there. Then you've got the back of the garage, again, just the siding and the frame, not the door itself. And then you've got this back shed here. So um, we talked about this bottom portion has a little bit of swelling, nothing that needs to be replaced. It's just something that you're gonna have to maintain. When we paint, we wanna make sure we get this underneath lip, underneath this siding to make sure that it's protected by paint as best we can. So, and then you've got a little bit of siding over here. So that's the scope of the work. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. I'll be happy to help any way I can. Thank you.